Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. Do you have a favorite teacher at school? Or one or two teachers at school that you really like? Wouldn't it be great to show your favorite teachers how much you appreciate them? Well, as you may know, it is Teacher Appreciation Week next week. And in this video, I will be giving you ideas on nice things that you can do for your teachers in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. I have been the favorite student of all of my teachers throughout the years, so I hope I can help you. Let's get into the video. First off, one thing you can do for your teachers is give them a compliment. If they're really nice or you like their teaching style, why not compliment them on how nice they are and how great of a teacher they are? You can even give them a compliment on their hair or their outfit. Anything you like about them, really. I have done this for all of my favorite teachers throughout the years, and they all really loved what I said about them. It always made my teachers really happy when I gave them a compliment. It feels good to receive a compliment, even when you're a teacher. The next thing you can do is give your favorite teacher a thoughtful letter or note. If you write your teacher a nice note, it's basically a compliment that they can keep and look back on for years to come. They can read it to cheer themselves up when they're having a bad day. For example, one time when I was in 8th grade, my computer teacher, aka my favorite teacher of all time, was showing my computer class some nice notes that she had gotten throughout her 11 years of working at my school, and it inspired me to give her a nice note myself. What I did was I took a piece of paper out of my binder, wrote in big letters, miss my computer teacher's name, I don't want to expose her real name, is awesome, on the piece of paper, and then gave the note that I had just written to my computer teacher. My note immediately brightened her mood and made her really happy. She told me that I had just made her day. My note really did make her feel good. And I guarantee that if you write your favorite teacher a nice thoughtful note, it'll make them feel good too. I also guarantee that my computer teacher from eighth grade still has my note even though it has been seven years since she was my teacher. Another thing I like to do is give my favorite teacher a thank you letter at the end of the school year. I have done this every single year at the end of the school year and it really shows your teachers how appreciated and special they truly are. Trust me, teachers absolutely love when they have made an impact on their students. And a thank you letter at the end of the year will show just that. It really pays off to work hard all year to make an impact on your students and then go on summer break. Your nice note or letter to your teacher doesn't have to be anything fancy. You don't have to put it in an envelope or anything like that. All you need to do is write the note on a piece of paper and then give it to your teacher. Simple as that. Now, this may seem a bit formal, but Another really nice thing you can do for your favorite teacher is give them flowers. I like to do this for female teachers. It doesn't have to be a full bouquet of flowers. Even just one flower is a beautiful and sweet thing. You can even give your teacher a flower that you picked from your parents' garden or something. For example, when I was little and the sunflowers started blooming, I would pick a sunflower out of the ground and then give it to my teacher when I went to school. Even though sunflowers are kind of delicate and don't last very long, my teachers still absolutely loved it when I gave them a sunflower I had picked from the ground. I'm glad that Teacher Appreciation Week is during the springtime when flowers are blooming and everything. However, do not give your teacher roses or tulips. Roses and tulips are a romantic symbol, and they'll send your teacher the wrong message when you're just trying to brighten their day. Just give your teacher simple but pretty flowers, like daisies or another type of casual flower. I recommend giving your favorite teacher flowers because flowers are beautiful. And when you give your teacher flowers, you're basically telling them that they're beautiful. <laughs> If your favorite teacher is allergic to flowers, you can draw them a picture of a flower, and they'll love it just as much. This might be costly, but another nice thing you can do for your teachers is give them a present. However, do not give them anything expensive. Teachers most likely aren't allowed to accept expensive gifts from students. Just give them something affordable. 
like a scented candle or a cheap piece of jewelry or something like that. Or if you're creative, you can draw them a picture and put it in a picture frame. Or you can make them something. For example, you may not know this, but my other talent besides computers, making videos, and 3D modeling and animation is making jewelry. So basically, in the middle of my senior year of high school, I found out that my favorite teacher, my video production teacher, was leaving. I was very happy for her because I knew that it would be a lot better for her kids and her family. But at the same time, I absolutely loved her and was really attached to her and I didn't want to say goodbye to her. I had a close bond with this teacher, and she was basically my security blanket when I was sad or upset because of how nurturing she was and how much she cared for me. Because she was my favorite teacher and she was leaving, I decided to make her a necklace as a way for her to remember me and still think of me at her new school. Pink was her favorite color, so I put pink beads on the necklace. On her last day at my school, I gave her the necklace and she absolutely loved it. She even put the necklace on right away and told me that she would be wearing it every single day. She and I still kept in touch after she left and she told me that she had even gotten compliments on the necklace I made her. So yeah, presents are a really sweet thing. However, only give your teacher a present if it's a special occasion like their birthday or Christmas or Teacher Appreciation Week or even if they're leaving, do not give them a present on a normal day. Special occasions only. Now I'm going to give you some tips on how to get your teachers to appreciate you as much as you appreciate them. First off, you should say hi to your teacher at the beginning of class and then goodbye to them at the end of class. You should also say hi to them when you see them in the hallways or just happen to bump into them in public. Teachers love friendly students and they love when their students think of them and just care about them in general. Teachers also love when students are polite. For example, you should say please when asking for help or just asking to be excused for whatever reason. For example, if you need to go to the bathroom, instead of just saying, can I go to the bathroom? You should say, may I please go to the bathroom? And if your teacher says you can go, say thank you before you leave the room. It really bothers me how the majority of kids never say please when asking for help in class or asking to go to the bathroom or anything like that. I think that students should start being polite and saying please and thank you to their teachers. Another thing you can do is ask your teacher if they need help with anything. Or if your teacher is upset, ask them if they're okay. Or if your teacher tells you something sad that happened to them, like they lost a loved one, Tell them you're sorry. Your teachers will really appreciate you as a student if you follow this advice. Honestly, if you're being respectful towards your teachers and treating your teachers like actual human beings, they'll appreciate you. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you liked my teacher appreciation advice and that other advice I gave you. And I hope you follow my advice next week during teacher appreciation week and just in general. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, what are some nice things you've done for your teachers to show them you appreciate them? Feel free to share your own teacher appreciation advice in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.